Hello, hello. Welcome to Topical Tuesday, 12-12, December 12, 2017. Steve Cypress here. Another spectacularly beautiful fall day here in sunny Arizona. Got up near 80 today, so we're back to Hawaiian shirt weather. And uh, rhino of the day is this white rhino. And this is not your everyday white rhino, who the actual rhinos that are called white rhinos are kind of gray. Uh, this white rhino is actually white and very fluffy and uh, one of my favorite rhinos. So there it is, the stuffed white rhino of the day. And the tag says it is from the Heritage Collection. Uh, Imported from Athens, Greece. What about that? And it is, in fact, copyright 1990, the white rhino. As if you didn't know what color that is. All right, so on with it. So how about that? The news this morning comes that the Prime Minister of France has been hatching this scheme Apparently, he announced this like hours after Donald Trump said the U.S. is pulling out of this Paris Accord climate change nonsense, whatever deal, where ridiculous amounts of U.S. taxpayer dollars, that's you and me, would be, maybe it's you and me, about half this country doesn't pay any taxes, but hopefully you are one of the producers in society and therefore we're the ones that are funding the government and in their ridiculous folly under the past administration, the millions of these dollars were going to ridiculous causes. And I know a whole bunch of these scientists, I mean, they actually, you know, did study scientists that, that saw a bonanza uh, when it came out and said like, man, all we gotta do is put together these proposals about how we're going to change the world by studying the change of the climate, the this, that, who, whatever, and we don't gotta get a job, we don't have to sell anything. We don't have to produce anything of real value. All we got to do is prove to the administration that we're going to do something that they think is for the good. Uh, and therefore, we're going to live off all these tax dollars coming our way. Where Donald Trump came out and said, yeah, and now put the kibosh on that. That is not happening anymore in Trump's America. And here's the beauty of it is, as usual, Trump, no matter what he does, how ridiculous, how outrageous, uh, always seems to come out rosy. And in this case, he probably knew that even when he pulls all the funding for this, like what's going to happen to these thousands and thousands of U.S.-based people feasting off the scam? I won't call them scam artists. They're just feasting off the scam that they're going to go in for government grants when they know that even... I mean, good luck to humans controlling and changing the climate they live in with, but everyone knows the climate's always changing. I'm pretty sure, uh, you know, I, I must have been six or eight years old and reading about the Ice Age, and, uh, you know, it's hot, it's cold, it's hot, it's cold, that's always going to happen. So why not claim credit for it? Like, oh, we did such and such, and we changed the climate by 0.01 of a degree over 100 years. Like, What's going to happen when, who knows what's, what changes the universe has in store for this planet over the next 100 years? Is it going to get warmer? Is it going to cooler? Scientists never know. And so somebody is going to claim that they were successful with all their climate change science and whatever they did that helped. Or somebody's going to say it didn't help or it hurt or it did, you know, whatever. Point is, the Prime Minister of France comes out and beautifully says, you know, I'm a big anti-Trumper, so Trump isn't going to stop us to fix the planet and do good for the world as if France can afford to waste their tax dollars on this nonsense. But he put together some kind of program, and he funded, I think it was 18 of these climate change scientists to apply or to receive, thousands applied supposedly, but 18 received these government, French government grants. I mean, are you kidding me? But the one stipulation is you got to go to France to do the research. So I think I read the 13 out of the 18 grant recipients were Americans who have accepted them. And therefore, for the duration of Trump's term in office, they have agreed to move to France and to do their research there. Now, 
uh, French prime minister isn't an idiot either, because I'm sure he realizes that while they're in France, they've got to eat, they've got to uh, buy stuff, they got to rent places and pay utilities and and uh, and and buy clothes or whatever they do over there. They're contributing to the economy. So even though the French taxpayer dollars are going out the window into this bogus climate change, whatever nonsense is going to be going on. I mean, I know some of these scientists who know they're milking the government for this money, uh, but they're very happy. And they were really upset, as so many of these lunatics these days are that still haven't accepted the election that happened a year ago. Like, dude, you're your outrageous liberal, uh, you know, causes are all out the window for the foreseeable future for four or eight years or whatever. And then, of course, there's always the pendulum will swing in the other direction, and then we'll go off the deep end back to bloating government and wasting money and all kinds of nonsense. And then it'll go back to, oh, that's terrible. We've got to bring a conservative in, and this is always going to happen. So the beautiful thing for these climate change, steam scammers, fanatic scientists, whatever you want to call them, is... Trump pulled the plug on the money, but now they get a chance. They got to go to France, and they get to go to France and now live off French taxpayer dollars for the next few years or whatever. So what has this got to do with business? Well, it's a great example of the WOW strategy that I created, three simple letters. The first W stands for the WHO, the O is for the irresistible offer, and the last W stands for the WAY or WAYS that you use to get your irresistible offer in front of your chosen target, who. And the who is who you want to do business with you, or in this case, who you want to give you government grants. And so you see the importance of the who, that all these climate change the profiteers who are getting all these government grants for years under the way far leftist Obama lunatic, you know, we are, he's the president of the world, screw America. I'm the president of the world while America goes into, you know, 20 billion trillion dollars in debt. But, uh, you know, we got to do everything that's good for the world nonsense. Uh, they were profiting like crazy. So Trump pulls the plug and what happens? All you got to do is find a new who, a new target market. Find someone else who will willing you, willingly give, give you, grant you, you know, bestow upon you ridiculous amounts of taxpayer dollars so that you can be a scientist and study stuff and not have to actually go get a real job or do anything useful. And all you had to do was find a new target audience. So this relates to any business at all. If you're in a business where suddenly, for some reason, people stop buying, maybe your your number one customer, you lose it, or you lose a whole class of customers, or a competitor comes into town, say you're a you own a hardware store and suddenly a Home Depot and a Lowe's sets up right in your town and suddenly you're losing all your customers. Like, what am I going to do? You got to find new customers. So maybe you could set up uh, an online website. Maybe you can move to another town or like these climate science people, you can move to another country. You know, it's a free country. It's a free world. A lot of it is. You can move. So it's all about finding these climate change scientists either had to find a new profession, a new something to do, or find a new who, a new audience, a new someone would give them money. And along comes the Prime Minister of France and saves the day for them. And they can say, lo and behold, we found a new who, a new someone that's going to give us money. And all we got to do is move to France. So that's the, the irresistible offer. I mean, the wild strategy breaks down a little bit here. It's mainly focused on the who that if somebody that was giving you all this money, the U.S. government was just flooding money onto this supposed clients, climate science saving the world crap for years, that floodgates just got suddenly and violently completely cut off by a new administration that says, I'm not buying into that crap. Like, you'll have to actually produce something of value if you want money from this government. Although, of course, we know that's not the case. There must be so much waste in government. Still, it's unbelievable that Trump is at least taking some actions that got some of it, and this is one of the things he did. And uh, so you have a choice. You can find a new career, or you can find a new somebody to give you money. And in this case, you had to go to France, and only a few of the ones that applied got it, but maybe other countries will follow and say, like, hey, great idea, Mr. French Prime Minister. Like, now this country will give some money, and this country will give some, or maybe we'll put some together with the United Nations or the International Climate Change Hysteric Society or whatever they call themselves. And, and so climate scientists 
can find a new source of money, a new target market, and they've got to put in their grants there, and they've got to convince them to give them money. The same way business owners, we have to convince people to do business with us. That's the wow strategy. If your who, your main target market, suddenly disappears and goes away and dries up, no pun intended, uh, find a new target market or find something new to sell. And then, of course, you can get into making them an irresistible offer and finding the right way or ways to convey that irresistible offer to that target who. Okay, so it's mostly focused on the first W of the wow strategy, the who, and you see how important that is. It's a career saver for this career of being a climate change scientist. I mean, Trump came to town and I know some of these people, they were like, oh, the you know, rug is pulled out from under us. We gotta actually do something useful now, maybe cure cancer or solve some actual problem that's solvable and makes sense and is real. Uh, but no, they got this lifeline from the new source of income all they got to do is they have to put it in the grant and convince the French government to give them money, and voila, floods of money it is. So that's it for Topical Tuesday. Take heart. If you lose your main source of income, either find something else to sell or find another source of income, someone else willing to give you that money for that same thing you're doing. It could be in a different vertical. could be in a different physical location could be halfway across the world. But if you really are married to it and you're really uh, a whole hog into it, that you insist on doing that thing, sometimes we gotta find someone new to sell it to and sell their bill of goods they did to Mr. French anti-Trump prime minister who comes in and who wins? Trump wins. I mean, he gets a whole bunch of these wackos out of the country for a few years anyway. And second of all, he, they're all happy. They're making money from the French government, and he can take the U.S. tax dollars and do other things with it and still uh, put himself out as a non-hysterical person who doesn't believe that it's worth ridiculous amounts of tax dollars to do something that nobody has any real basis in believing will make any difference to anything. Sure, or the earth is getting warmer, uh, but who knows what's going to happen in 50 years, 100 years, and, and besides, even without, here's the big secret, folks, as if you need me to tell you this, even without governments throwing all this taxpayer dollar money around, because of course it's easy for people running government to throw our money around, like private corporations, private citizens, private groups, private entities, We'll solve whatever problems come up. I mean, you got all the car companies that are going to electric cars, going to driverless cars. There's all kinds of advances in delivery of energy, uh, all kinds of better sources for food, more efficient. I mean, all better, more efficient uses for the planet. That all comes from capitalism. It does not come from government handouts. And so that's all going to happen anyway. And whatever ills are happening because of temperatures or weather or climate or whatever is all solved by entrepreneurs and by business people. And of course, as Trump knows and anyone else with a brain knows, you never need government to get involved in any of that crap. So Trump wins, America wins, we don't waste our tax dollars, but the French people, as if they got money to burn over in France, all right, let them give all this these tax dollars to people for this stuff. Oops, whatever. If they're giving it away, I know people that are happily taking it, and same thing in your business. If you got something that you don't think people would want, but you put it out there and people want to buy it, sell it to them. Let them pay for it. Okay? That's called, it's another lesson for another day. It's called sell them what they want, and then you can give them what they need. But don't, don't try and sell people what they need. Sell them what they want. And if the French government wants to give away tons of their tax dollars for some scientific research, whatever, go get it. Go take it. Very good. That's it. Adam is here. Jim is here. Good seeing you guys. Uh, that was an enjoyable topical Tuesday. Have a lot of fun. There's lots of stuff in the news. I could have done 10 different topics today or 50, and I'm sure there'll be 50 earth-shattering new, unbelievable scoop of the year topics happening tomorrow, but I won't be back with another topical Tuesday till next Tuesday. Tomorrow, I'll be here with Wisdom Wednesday, and I hope you will join me then. 
Thanks for being here today. Bye-bye.